So there's one fire stick accessory that never really gets talked about. Now, the only one I ever see YouTubers, including myself, ever discuss is the, the OTG cable. And like, as you guys know, this just allows you to connect a USB port to your device, right? So we have our power line, our new USB plug-in, and then that's it. It's simple. And that's great for storage and stuff like that. But what about an accessory that actually improves the overall performance? Well, this doesn't really improve performance. However, it may increase your streaming speeds. And this is an official accessory from Amazon. Uh, and it's an ethernet adapter for your Fire Stick. Let's try to get that in. So as you guys can see, it has your ethernet port right here. And then it has your second power plugin. So all you have to do is connect this to your Fire Stick, plug in your power, and now your Fire Stick can connect to your internet via your direct plugin instead of Wi-Fi. Now, if you have your router in your basement and it's hard to really boost your Wi-Fi upstairs, this can greatly improve performance. So today we're gonna test it out and see if it actually gives me a faster internet speed. Now I have extremely fast internet, plus my modem is in my basement running Wi-Fi 6. So I don't know if this is actually going to improve it for me, but it should still give you a better connection overall on a regular basis. Okay, so we're on the speedtest.net website right now. It's running through Amazon Silk. It's actually kind of weird uh, because for whatever reason, the application version wasn't available in the Amazon App Store. I don't know if they just changed that. Um, but anyways, we're, we're gonna go on here. I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. So let's go ahead and press go here. And this will test our current speed running Wi-Fi. Okay, so our download speed ended up being 144 megabytes per second, which is actually extremely low uh, because I have a gigabyte internet speed. Um, so let's go ahead and try out our accessory. Now, this is a pretty easy hookup, so I'm gonna do it while I'm on camera right here. We just have to unplug our fire stick, so this is gonna go black for a second. So what we do, let's see, we have our fire stick. We're gonna plug in our ethernet adapter right here. Again, the link is down below in the description. It's cheap, I think it's like 10 bucks. We're gonna plug in the other line. So now that's going to put power to our Fire Stick. So what I did is I just grabbed my ethernet cable that's plugged into my PC currently, and we're gonna plug that directly into our Amazon Silk little attachment here. And we're gonna plug this back into our HDMI port. Okay, so our device booted back up. So let's go ahead and check in settings. And what we have to make sure is that we are indeed connected to our ethernet. And I'll do that either by, I think just turning off the Wi-Fi or it should automatically say, so let's go into here. It says right there, ethernet configuration, uh, wired connected. So it did read it. So it knows right away that we're connected through the direct Amazon accessory. Now I believe the other adapters will work as well, but I figured the Amazon official one would be the best one. Um, so let's go back here and let's go back to uh, speed test and see what it's done. Okay, so of course we're gonna do the exact same method. We have to, you know, or else it doesn't really count. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're just gonna wait a second for this to load. It keeps telling me to download the app, but we don't have the Google Play Store. We have the Amazon Store. All right, let's press go. So here it is. Did this greatly increase my internet speed? We were at what, 144 megabytes per second? And let's see if it actually did anything useful here. Oh my God, this looks way, way worse. Okay, we're gonna try testing one more time. We should have did three tests, I think. Okay, so that test on this accessory from Amazon uh, was not what I wanted it to be. But after double checking the ad, uh, that's kind of on me. It actually only goes up to 100 megabytes per second. Um, so it is beneficial if you are getting extremely low speeds from your Wi-Fi. So if you're getting 40 megabytes per second and you're supposed to have a faster speed than that i believe this would speed it up but because this is limited to what it can offer unfortunately it wasn't the best test uh for today's demo again kind of on me but what i'm going to do is i'm going to order a couple different uh network adapters and we're going to do a full test of two or three of them that actually offer faster speeds and see how they both increase the speed, but also maybe add some extra little benefits such as USB ports and stuff. So for today, can only suggest if you have extremely low Wi-Fi speeds. See you guys in the next one.